What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be installing a smart garage control. This one in particular is called Chamberlain MyQ Connected. They have an older version, but this is the newer version. So I'm gonna be installing this in my garage. So what this does is allows your garage door to open and close using your smartphone. I've been looking to do this for quite some time now. Uh, there are a few times where I forgot to close the garage and I had to drive all the way back home just to close the garage. So with this, it gives me a little bit ease in mind where I can just look at my phone and press the button and it will just close the garage door for me. And so for this to work, you're gonna have to have an automatic garage door opener already. And this one is compatible with so many different garage door openers. And what I have in my garage is from Genie. And so I'm gonna show you the process of how I install this. All right guys, let's do a little quick unboxing. So here we have the hub, which this will be mounted on the wall or on the ceiling. Uh, so for me, I'm gonna be mounting on the wall. This one, you attach it on the garage door. I'll show you that in a little bit. So it already includes pretty much everything, the power for the hub, as well as the mounting for this as well. Uh, some screws and some, these are the instructions. So here is the quick start guide. This is what's in the box, the mounting plate. Uh, this is the hub. This is the door sensor, power adapter. Before you start, uh, you will need a 2.4 gigahertz router. Make sure you have a good connection. My router is right above my garage, so I'm pretty certain I'll have good connection right there. Here, this tells you you wanna place this warning placard which is giving this right here. And they tell you that you wanna place it right next to the door control. So you also need to download the MyQ app. And then from there, you can follow the in-app instructions to set up the smart control. So I'm going to be installing the hub on the wall right here between these two windows. So in order to install the hub up against the wall, they give you this mounting plate and the direction of this you see the arrow pointing up. You should be installing it with the arrow pointing up. So it's just two screws attaching to it and which is also included. So I'm gonna be installing that right now. Once the plate is on, you attach the hub at this position first and then you turn it straight to lock it in and then now you can peel off this uh, plastic film here i'm just tidying up the cable just making it look a little neater uh, it's a little longer i left it long on purpose and i'm just going to use the zip tie just to bundle up the remaining length of the cable here is the MyQ sensor installed on the door. The instruction tells you make sure to clean this area really well so the adhesive stays on. Once you stick it on, you wanna press and hold that on for like 30 seconds just to make sure that the sensor is placed firmly and that's not going to fall off. All right, so I just finished installing it. It was very straightforward process. I had to use my phone to follow the guide and it was very, very easy to follow. So basically I have my hub installed right here where it has an outlet right below. Uh, it has a good amount of length of, for the power adapter. And then I have the sensor uh, attached right onto the garage door. Uh, they provided everything for you, the Velcro strips, the adhesive, and as well as the screws for the hub. 
The instruction was very, very straightforward. Uh, once everything is paired up to your Wi-Fi router connection, uh, they tell you to press the learn button on your garage door opener and then it automatically does all the syncing and everything and pairing for you. Uh, once that's done, that's pretty much it. And then you can use your phone to open and close the garage. As you can see, I do have my parents set up and this is my garage here. So if you just press this button and you press open, It does take a little bit of time, but sometimes it becomes faster. So as you can see, my garage door is opening. So once it's open, you can see that it tells you the status of your garage. Right now it's open and it tells you for how long. Uh, right now it's for 16 seconds. And in order to close it, you just press that again, press close. And when it's closed, it is a beep that alerts you, letting you know that it's going to close. All right, once it's closed, you should see the app. The status will change to close. There. So as you can see from the demonstration, I can open and close with the app and I could be anywhere around the world and I can control that on my app. So in case that I do forget to close my garage door, I can look at my app and just press close from there. So another great feature about this is that it has Amazon in delivery service. So you can pair this with your Amazon Prime membership. And if you do have a order coming or delivery coming in, the delivery carrier can have access to open your garage door. Um, I, for one, not too sure how I feel about having someone coming in, but that is a pretty neat feature to have. So the Amazon delivery can just come in, drop off your package inside the garage. So it kind of prevents people from stealing your packages. So now that you can control your garage door with just an app now, you can still use the function of the garage door. And then it opens just as it normally should. And then closing it is exactly the same. What's cool is that if you use this normal way of opening and closing, the status on the app still lets you know if it's open or closed. Hi right, guys, so that is it for today's video on how I installed this MyQ smart home added to the garage door opener. This is not a paid sponsorship. I pay this out of my own money because I have used the MyQ Chamberlain on my parents' home and I see how convenient it is. So when I bought this home, it already came with the automatic garage door opener, but it didn't have the Wi-Fi capabilities. So Chamberlain offers this product, which I'm glad they're able to make any kind of garage door opener Wi-Fi capability. So if you guys have a garage door opener that doesn't have Wi-Fi, get yourself one of this. It's very cheap. This cost me $25 on Amazon. I'll link it down in the description below. It's $25 adding Wi-Fi smart capability to your garage. And this MyQ is compatible with so many different brands of garage door openers. I believe garage door openers from 1995 and newer is compatible with it, but make sure to check the compatibility list and make sure that it works with your garage door opener. All right guys, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe because we're gonna have more car contents for you guys in the future. Peace out guys.